Network topology is referred to the arrangement of various elements like computers, servers, switches and routers in a network. These structures define how devices are physically or logically connected to each other and how data flows between them. Several key types of network topologies exist, each with its unique characteristics, advantages and disadvantages. So let's discuss them. The first and simplest topology is a bus topology. In a bus topology all devices are connected to a single central cable known as the bus. This bus serves as a shared communication medium allowing all devices to send and receive data over the same cable. The way it works is straightforward. Data is broadcast over the bus and each device checks if the message is intended for it. If not, the message continues down the line. One of the key benefits of this setup is its simplicity and cost effectiveness, particularly in small networks. However, a major drawback is that the network relies heavily on the central cable. If the bus fails, or if this central cable fails, the entire network goes down. Additionally, as more devices are added to the bus, performance degradates, since all devices share the same communication channel. Another widely used network layout is star topology. Here every device on the network is connected to a central hub or switch. This central device manages the communication by receiving data from one device and transmitting it to the intended destination. The structure is like a star, with the hub at the center and the devices extending outward. The main advantage of a star topology is its resilience to individual device failure. If one device goes offline, the rest of the network remains unaffected, since each device has its own direct connection to the hub. Additionally, it is easy to add or remove devices without affecting the overall network. However, if the central hub itself fails, all communications halt, making the network completely dependent on this single point of failure. Moving on. Ring topology involves connecting each device to exactly two other devices, forming a circular data path. Data travels around the ring in one direction, and each device must pass the data along until it reaches its destination. This topology ensures equal access to the network for all devices, making it less prone to data collisions. However, the major downside is its vulnerability. If one device or connection in the ring fails, it can break the entire network. Troubleshooting can also be more challenging due to the nature of the circular data flow, but its simplicity makes it suitable for smaller networks with limited nodes. Mesh topology offers a robust and high reliability structure, especially when uptime and fault tolerance are critical. In this setup, each device is connected to every other device, creating multiple pathways for data to travel. There are two variations. Full mesh where every device is directly connected to all others and partial mesh where only some devices are directly connected. The multiple pass ensures that if one link fails, data can still be transmitted through alternative routes. This makes mesh networks extremely reliable, particularly in large or critical networks. However, the downside is that it is expensive and complex to implement because of the large number of connections and cabling required. Managing and maintaining a mesh network can also be challenging due to its complexity. Tree topology is a hierarchical structure that combines aspects of both bus and star topologies. It consists of a central node, often a hub or switch, which connects two secondary nodes, usually more hubs or switches, that branch out to connect additional devices. The result is like a tree structure, where the root represents the central point and the branches are the connections to various devices. Tree topology is highly scalable, making it suitable for large networks that need to expand over time. Fault isolation is also easier, as issues in one branch don't necessarily affect the entire network. However, the central hub and upper level hubs play a critical role. So, if one of them fails, 
It can isolate parts of the network, reducing overall connectivity. Lastly, we have a hybrid topology, which combines two or more earlier mentioned topologies to form a more versatile and scalable network. This approach allows the network to adapt to specific needs and constraints by integrating different topologies in different sections. For example, a company might use a start topology within each department and mesh topology to connect the department together. The main advantage of hybrid topology is flexibility. It allows network architects to customize the layout for performance, reliability or cost efficiency. However, the trade-off is the added complexity and higher cost as managing hybrid networks requires expertise in multiple types of topologies. In summary, network topologies provide different ways to organize the connections and data flow in network. Bus topology is simple and cost-effective but fragile. Star topology is robust but depends on a central hub. Ring topology provides equal access but it's vulnerable to a single point of failure. Mesh topology is highly reliable but complex and expensive. And tree topology is scalable but depends on key hubs. And hybrid topology offers flexibility but can be costly and complex to manage. The choice of topology depends on the specific needs of the network including size, cost, performance and reliability requirements.